So I'm here with a quick update. I've done all kinds of modifications to my CO2 laser and I've got this thing running absolutely flawlessly. When these come stock, they're pretty good. I think you can end up getting the result you want with multiple passes or a lot more passes than you would really want to have ideally. So with the modifications I did, not only is this laser safer, but it actually runs a lot better than it did when I first got it. So I will run through the modifications that I did to this, um, why I did them, and then I will show you the result. Uh, I'm able to cut quarter inch Baltic birch plywood in two passes. I might be able to get by with one, but I end up running two just to be sure. That way I don't have any strings on the backside or I don't have any problems separating the pieces. That way I'm sure it cut all the way through and I won't have any kind of problems. So I will show you the modifications I did. I will put links down in the description. I've got this thing running awesome. I am so excited about this. So let me show you what I did. Over here on the left side of my K40 laser, first mod I did was set up this power strip. That way when I hit that toggle, it turns everything on, including the laser. I've got my water pump, I've got my air assist, I've got my smoke extractor. So everything is connected to this power strip here. Once I turn that on, I'm ready to go. Once that power strip turns on, this flow meter will start flowing. Let me go ahead and hit that switch for you. And now you can be anywhere in the shop and you'll know that this thing is getting water running through the tube so you don't burn up your tube. Very easy to see. You can stand back here, see that windmill spin. So that's the first mod I did. Super easy. I just cut the water tube right there. Just stuck this in place and screwed it down with a couple of clamps. Very simple, but yet very effective. Mod number two is I added this inline smoke extractor and I put a simple dryer vent just shoot it outside that way I can keep all the smoke out of the shop this thing does a really good job of getting the smoke out there that's exactly where we want it outside into the free air where it doesn't do us any harm the second thing that comes on is this air pump here I've just got it mounted to the side of my stand it comes with these rubber isolation feet so it's actually pretty quiet but this thing runs my air assist you can see the black tube there goes back there and then up and behind and goes into the back of my machine. And then that comes up here to the inside of my laser. I installed a drag chain there. And this black tube here, this is the air assist. You can hear it, I'll plug it here with my finger. You can hear the difference. Um, this cone here, this lets air out of the port here, which then protects the lens. It won't let the smoke and the soot travel up onto the lens. And then this blows it off your actual work surface. So there assist works well. And then I have a red dot pointer right here. That wire is ran through the drag chain as well. Goes back around there, runs under here. And I have a toggle switch here so that I can turn that laser on and off you can see on and off right there let me put something there for you to see there you go so now when i hit it on now i'll know exactly where my laser is going to fire and then that way if i'm tracing something out uh, i can turn that on i can run k40 whisper and it'll say trace out boundary i can hit okay and it'll just show me exactly where it's going to cut so if I had something small that maybe I was trying to fit on here in particular or another piece of scrap, I could lay it out correctly and that way I can get the most out of all the material that I have. One of the best mods I did was adding this adjustable bed right here. It's got an aluminum honeycomb bed here and then all four feet are connected to these rods and the rods have a belt. Uh, you can probably see it down there, yep, a belt. So now when I twist this one here, the entire bed moves in unison up and down. And that way you can get your focal distance exactly right. Uh, your focal distance is critical for these K40s. It'll help you cut and burn exactly as you need to. So one final mod that I did, you're not going to be able to see. 
is I upgraded the mirrors and the lens. Um, because I wasn't running the air assist, my lens got super dirty. It got caked with smoke and soot, and it wasn't really cutting all that well. And when I actually tried to fine-tune my mirrors, which I probably didn't really have to do because it came stock pretty well, but I just stuck my tape right on my mirror. So when I was shooting my laser, it ended up leaving all kinds of residue on my mirrors. So I just said, you know what? I'll swap all the mirrors out. I'll swap the lens out. So I did that and that has helped a lot as well. And one final thing I did was I added this wire connector here. And I just added some more lights. They end up going around the front of the machine and around the side. I just kind of threw them up there, but that way it lights this thing up a lot better. So now I can see exactly what I'm doing when I'm doing any sort of layout. With all these mods here, I've got this thing running beautifully. I'm very pleased with this. So if you guys check the description down below, I'll have a list of all the modifications I did and what they cost me. And then that way you can decide if that's something you want to do yourself. So thanks for watching. Until next time, take it easy.